In this example, we begin with a 0.03 molar of butanic acid and a pH of 3.5 to 25 degrees Celsius. We want to find the hydroxide concentration as well as the pKa of our butanic acid. Now we'll find this guy first. So in step 1 and 3, I find the pKa. In step 2, I find the hydroxide concentration. So let's skip to step 2. Now, the first thing I do is I use the formula pH plus pOH equals 14. Now, if you're not certain about this formula and you don't know where this formula comes from, check out the link below. So, I simply take our pH, plug it in into this number, and we get 14 equals 3.5 plus pOH, subtract by 3.5, and I get pOH is equal to 10.5. And now I simply apply the formula for pOH. So, pOH is equal to 10.5, which is equal to negative log of the concentration of OH. Now I convert this log to exponent by first bringing the negative sign to this side. I see that my base is 10, and I raise that base 10 to the negative 10.5 exponent. So my concentration of uh, hydroxide is equal to 10 to the negative 10.5, plug this into my calculator and get 3.16 times 10 to the negative 11 molar. So this is my concentration of hydroxide. So I found the first part. Now let's look at the pKa. So before anything else, we must write the dissociation reaction for our acid. So our acid in the aqueous state reacts with water in the liquid state to form a conjugate base and a conjugate acid. Now, our goal is to find the Ka and then we can find the pKa by using the log formula. So what is Ka? Well, Ka is the ratio of the, uh, uh, these guys to this guy. Remember, we don't use the liquid component, so we don't really care about this guy, so we can forget about this guy for now. What we want to find is the equilibrium concentration of this guy this guy and this guy. Then we plug that in into our equilibrium expression and find our Ka. And then we find the pKa by using logs. So, we know that we begin our initial condition is 0.03 molar of butanic acid. So our initial condition is we have 0.03 of this guy. We don't care about this guy. We have none of this guy. And we have a very small amount of this guy because remember in pure water some water dissociates into H3O plus and if you're not sure about what I'm talking about check out the link below so but this amount is so small it's 10 to the negative 7 molar and that's very small and so we can approximate this to be 0 so initially we have 0 of this 0 of this and 0 0.03 molar of our acid we want to find the equilibrium concentration. So at equilibrium, our pH is 3.5. That means we could find, we could use the log formula to find the concentration of this guy. Now after we find the concentration of this guy, the concentration of this guy is the same thing. That's because one mole and one mole, our ratio of this guy to this guy is one to one. So that means whatever the amount in molar of this guy is, this guy is the same. So let's find the concentration of hydronium. So pH equals 3.5 for my given information is equal to negative log of the concentration of hydronium. And that means we have to convert this guy to exponents. So our base is 10. We bring a negative over. We get base 10 to the negative 3.5 because this is my exponent. So we get our concentration is equal to 10 to negative 3.5, and we get 3.16 times 10 to negative 4 molar. So this is my concentration of hydronium as well as my concentration of this conjugate base. And that's because there's a one-to-one -one ratio. If this was a 2 and this was a 1, then I would have to multiply this guy by 2 to find this. But since it's one-to-one, -one, they're equal. Okay. So now we have my equilibrium concentration of my conjugate base and my conjugate acid, and, and I have to find my equilibrium concentration of my initial acid. So initially at 0 
and at equilibrium that means I have to have a little bit less than 0 0.03 because a little bit of it dissociated into this guy. But how much less is it exactly? Well, the initial amount of butonic acid minus final amount of conjugate base, so this guy in molar minus this guy in molar will give me the amount of butonic acid left over. So 0 0.03, the amount I began with, minus 3.16 times 10 to negative 4, this guy gives me how much of my butonic acid is left over at equilibrium, or 0 0.02968 molar. So now I have all my equilibrium concentrations. So I simply write my equilibrium expression. So Ka is equal to the concentration of this guy times the concentration of this guy divided by the concentration of this guy. So 3.16 times 10 to the negative 4 times 3.16 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by 0 0.02968 gives me 3.36 times 10 to the negative 6. So that's our Ka. But we're not done because we want to find the pKa. So I simply use the log formula. So pKa gives us negative log of this guy produces 5.47. Actually, let me just, I don't know why I wrote that, but this guy should be 3.36 times 10 to the negative 6.